Hello all, welcome to Netbook and welcome back to Mulesoft Tutorials. Today I'm planning to talk about arrays in a data view. So as part of this, I'm going to talk about filtering an array, mapping an array, distinct by an array, group by an array, and reduce an array. When I say the filtering, what is mean by filtering? Imagine I have a data, set of data, I want to filter, I want to limit a data from that. I open Amazon website, from that, I want to filter only the Apple brands mobiles. Then I, what I do, I will select filter, then I will select the brand as Apple. So that is how we filter the data. So from all the products, it will bring only the Apple products, right? That is what we are going to do. So list of products from that we are going to filter. Map. So the map is something we are going to iterate an array and going to return an array. I have a list of products. I will check each and every object within the array and the required data I'm going to transform into new array. Now distinct by, in case of if I have a same kind of a product, I want to distinct with, uh, with uh, some condition. An example, I have a same ID or same brand uh, details. So those details are maybe same mobile or anything. So that I'm going to distinct with that within the product list. Then group by. So I have a list of products which is from the different brands. I want to group it based on the brand name. So I have a 10 products out of 10. I want to group by uh, brand name Apple, which is three uh, products and the remaining seven products, which is from the Samsung. So I will be grouping with the based on the brand name. That is the reason we use a group by over here. Reduce. It can be used for transforming from an array to another data type. It might be the string, it, it might be to an object, it might be to an uh, number, anything we can do that. So let's start. We can do execution in a data view. So I'm going to open the data view playground over here. The payload over here, I'm going to change it. I have a, some data over here. You can see I have a list of products which is contain all these details. So the main thing we are going to use it over here. So let me take it this example, copy this, and I'm going to put it under payload over here. The first thing what I'm going to explain now over here is filter. So filter. So I have a payload over here. What I want to do is I want the products which are active status. You can see this is active status, this is active status, and this is also active. But if you see one of the product is discontinued. So this is discontinued, right? I want to filter out with the only active status. How I can do that? So this is complete product array. So I can say payload. I want to say that filter this. So the filter is going to take two parameters. One is object another one is index so the first time it is going to take this object and check whatever the condition you are going to write it over here you want to filter right based on some condition we are going to filter so over here the condition i need to put item dot status this is equal to equals to active so only active status says only I want to filter out. So now my condition is item dash status is equal to is equal to active. That means what will happen now when I'm using this filter, this is the item, the first item it is going to take first time and the index is zero for this item and it will check the condition over here, item dot status, the status is active. If it is active, then it will keep it in a uh, output one over here it is going to keep it now the second time what will happen it is going to iterate with this item now this is the item value over here the index will become one and then it is going to check the condition is it active or not if it is active then it is going to return over here similarly each and every item is going to iterate it and check the condition over here it is a discontinued 
that item will not come into the output over here you can see it is coming only the active ones over here so that is about filter let me start with a map so just i'm changing over here map it is exactly the same map now here i just need to change it over here the condition now over here we don't have any condition for the map now what we need to do we need to iterate each and every object over here so we are going to iterate it each and every object over here and we need to produce some output over here you can see it is iterating but i'm not returning anything over here i'm not producing anything so whatever you want to produce you need to write it over here i want to write it like product id what is that product id item dot item dot id is my product id so i can put it this you can see this is generating an array using this map so over here map will have a two parameters item comma index okay so if you don't give anything over here what will happen it is going to give an error because of this item is expecting without doing that also we can do the item will be dollar over here in this case okay so if you are not putting any parameters over here dollar is your item over here current item so what about index if you want to access an index you can use double dollar over here you can see 0 1 2 3 4 that are the four items or five items which is presented starting the index zero right so this is not a product id just to explanation i just written over here so we can use dollar dot id over here if you want to uh, produce output without parameters within the map now if you want it another element over here product name if you want to produce you can say dollar dot i want to take this product name over here you can see this is how the output will be produced using the map hope that is clear now then distinct by i'm going to put it over here now what i want to do is if you see my product details over here i'm going to change this logic over here let me remove that now if you see this is the product id this is the product id and uh, this product id is same as this one i don't want the duplicate elements i want to remove them right so to do that payload distinct by it will also accept a two parameters over here item the current item index is the current index what you want to do is you want to distinct with id okay so based on the id i want to distinct with it if you see that my input has five objects over here this is one two three four five right now if you see the output i have a one two three four because one of the id which is repeated two times that is removed now using this distinct by so here how we use the distinct by that simple it is now the next thing is group by okay let me put it over here group by what i want to do is now if you see my product details i have a vendor is apple and samsung i want to group by using this product uh, vendor okay so what i can do now i can remove this group by you can use item comma index exactly same as all other what i explained right now similarly it is also going to have a two parameters and now item dot the vendor based on the vendor i want to group it what it is going to return is now this is going to return an object over here you can see it is returning an object and within the object apple products are there over here this is an array so one product two products and three products and then we have a samsung products over here which has one product and two products so using this group by we can group it the items based on the grouping logic now we are going to talk about reduce over here the reduce can be produced anything what i can do is i want to 
see the the total tax i want to calculate over here okay the total tax i want to calculate for all these products so if you see this is payload dot tax if i take that is an array okay so let me put a it is a reduce okay now what i want to do is reduce item accumulate now what i want to do is i want to calculate items total okay plus accumulator you can see the total tax is 320 it is now reduce that if you see this the tax the first item is this is going to take the first object a value of this tax now that is a 50 and it will store it into accumulator 0 plus 50 that is a 50 then it will take the second uh, element over here now that is 90 the item is 90 now the previously this value is 50 plus now 90 that is 140 now this accumulator now then it is going to go to over here it is going to take a hundred this item now it become this one is 140 plus 100 240 then it's going to take this value so that is the item so 240 plus 80 that is uh, 320 now it is going to take a zero over here item then 320 is your accumulator value that is going to return this as here that is how the reduce function works over here clear right that one so using this array we are producing a number over here i hope this is clear for everybody that's it for today thank you for watching this video please like share subscribe netbook see you in the next video